Today's story is called The Cursed Melody of Arcanine Song by Scapegoat. I've always been a bit of an oddball, even among the VTuber community. <laughs> Believe that. As a uh, goat demon human hybrid, it believe it. Anyway, my streams are a chaotic mix of music, gaming, and the occasional existential crisis. But nothing could have prepared me for what happened after my latest stream, where I decided to create a Pokemon-inspired song on my guitar. It was a night of the blood moon. The kind of night that feels charged with energy. I had chosen to honor Arcanine, or Arcanine, the majestic fire type Pokemon, by creating a piece that I called Arcanine's Lament. The idea was to capture its fierce loyalty and fiery spirit through my music. I set up my stream and as I played, the notes flowed effortlessly from my fingers. The chat was alive with excitement, and I felt a connection with my viewers that I hadn't experienced in a very long time. But as I strummed the final chord, a strange chill swept through my room. The melody hung in the air, lingering like a ghost. I brushed it off, thinking that it was just the atmosphere of the blood moon. But as I ended the stream and closed my laptop, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was off. That night, I fell asleep with the haunting melody echoing in my mind. But when I awoke, I was greeted by an unsettling sight. My guitar, which I had left on its stand, was lying on the floor, strings vibrating as if someone had just played it. I dismissed it as a figment of my imagination, but a feeling of dread settled in my gut. The following night, I decided to work on the song again, hoping to refine it and rid myself of the eerie sensation. As I played, the melody morphed into something darker, filled with dissonance and sorrow. I could almost hear our canine's mournful howl woven into the chords, but it felt twisted, as if the spirit of the Pokemon was trying to communicate something sinister. I stopped abruptly, my heart racing, and shut my laptop. But the melody continued to echo in my mind. Over the next few nights, the haunting grew worse. I would wake up to the sound of my guitar strumming itself, the notes echoing through my room like a ghostly serenade. Shadows danced along the walls. I could swear I saw a flicker of orange light, flickering like a, like, a, like a distant flame. Each time I tried to dismiss it as a trick of the light, the, the feeling of dread just deepened. The echoes began. Soft, unintelligible murmurs that almost seemed to call my name at least with this otherworldly echo that honestly sent shivers down my spine. On the third night, the blue moon hung high in the sky, casting an eerie glow through my window. I decided to confront whatever was haunting me. I set up my stream again, determined to play our canine's lament one last time hoping to exercise the melody from my life. As I strummed the opening chords, the air grew thick with tension. 
The shadows in my room seemed to pulse with the rhythm, and I could feel a presence looming behind me. As I played, the melody twisted and warped, morphing into a cacophony of anguished howls and crackling flames. I could see chat lighting up with confusion and concern, but honestly, I was just too entranced. Oh, well, too terrified to stop. The music took on a life of its own, and I felt as if I were channeling something far beyond my understanding. The whispers grew louder, now forming words that echoed in my mind. Release us. Free us. Suddenly, my guitar strings snapped, one by one, each pop resonating like a gunshot in the silence. I jumped back, heart racing, as the lights flickered and went out, plunging me into darkness. The whispers turned into screams, and I could feel the temperature drop, my breath visible in the air. I fumbled for my phone, using its light to illuminate the room but the shadows seemed to writhe and twist, almost alive. In that moment, I had realized that the rumors that I had dismissed were true. The music software that I'd used, the one that had promised to unlock creativity, was a gateway, a portal to something dark and ancient. I had unwittingly summoned the spirit of our canine, but not the noble creature that I had admired. This was a vengeful spirit, one that had been wronged and was now seeking retribution. I fled from my room, leaving my guitar behind, but the melody still followed me, echoing in my mind like a relentless drumbeat all through the night. Even the next day, I could hear it in the daylight, a haunting reminder of my mistake. Friends and other streamers began to notice my erratic behavior and the dark circles under my eyes. I tried to explain, but they just laughed it off as a gimmick for views. The rumor spread, painting me as a cursed VTuber, a harbinger of bad luck. I became a spectacle, a ghost story whispered among the community. No one understood the truth. On the fifth night, the blood moon reached its zenith, and I knew that I had to confront the spirit once and for all. I returned to my room, armed with nothing but my phone and a flickering candle. The air was thick with tension, and the shadows seemed to pulse with anticipation. I sat in front of my guitar, strings still broken, and closed my eyes, focusing on the melody that had haunted me for days. Canine, I whispered, my voice trembling. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I only wanted to humor your spirit. The room fell silent. The whispers fading into an eerie stillness. I felt a warmth envelop me. A flicker of the fiery spirit that I once admired. If you seek relief, I will help you. With that, I began to hum the melody, the one that had twisted into something dark. I poured my heart into it, channeling my fear and regret, hoping to transform the haunting into something beautiful. As I sang, and the shadows began to swirl, and I could feel the presence of our canine surrounding me. 
its energy is shifting from anger to something softer, almost sorrowful. The candle flickered violently, and for a moment I thought I saw a figure, a majestic arcanine, its fur glowing like embers, standing before me. It looked at me, its eyes filled with both pain and gratitude. The melody swelled, and I, I felt a release as if the spirit was finally finding peace. As the last note faded into the night, the shadows receded, and the oppressive weight lifted from my chest. The room was still. The air was warm and calm. I opened my eyes, and the blood moon had begun to wane, its light softening. I felt a sense of closure, a connection to the spirit that had haunted me, now transformed into something beautiful. The next day, I returned to streaming, sharing my experience with my viewers. The rumors faded, replaced by a newfound respect for the power of music and the spirits that it can summon. I learned to approach my craft with reverence, understanding. Wow, that was freaking Escape Goat. This is probably my favorite freaking story so far to work on. Holy crap. Punch the hell at that like button for this man, please. He's literally the best musician I've seen in my life, bro. Escape Goat's links will be in the description below. And if you enjoyed this story, please check out the other ones on the channel we have so far. With that being said, goodbye.